All right, guys, we'll be answering your top five exhaust questions today. Um, these are pretty common questions that we get all the time, and often we don't get an opportunity to really talk about um, kind of the finer points behind yeah. some of these, right? Mm -hmm. um, the first is, uh, can you duplicate, you know, some YouTube video or some exhaust setup? Um, Short answer, yes. <laughs> long, an <laughs> long answer, what you wind up getting probably won't sound like you think it will. Um, and this happens fairly often as, you know, people see some sound clips, they used, you know, whatever muffler on this truck or that truck. Um, then they find out, you know, it's got a lot of drone on the inside. Or that was just part of the, the YouTube title, right? They didn't know that that car also has headers and a tune, et cetera, et cetera. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The exact same exhaust setup on a car that's been modified versus, you know, bone and it stock. just says like super 10 on my whatever yeah. vehicle. Right. And there's a whole lot more going on. Um, the other thing, too, is it's impossible to translate sound through camera. Um, and, you know, what, what can happen, too, is it's too quiet, right? It sounds really good in the YouTube video, but someone's actually, you know, boosted up a fairly quiet muffler. So it sounds like this really smooth, kind of burbling, gurgly, rumbly thing that you well, want. And we don't know what where they've placed their audio equipment, what, what it is. Is it their cell phone? Right. Is it GoPro? Is yeah. it... Did they add to the sound after that? You don't know. You don't know what they did on YouTube. You have no idea. No. And I mean, we can honestly say after filming thousands of exhaust videos, I don't think I've ever heard a single one after the fact. I mean, like, that's exactly what that car sounded like in real life. Yeah. It's always disappointing. Um, so, you know, short answer, yeah, a good exhaust shop can duplicate whatever you bring on them, especially if they specialize in custom stuff like we do. But is it going to sound like the video? Probably. Uh, probably not. Probably not. So... Um, I, I would definitely, you know, work with your exhaust guy, you know, send him a video, um, let him hear it and let, trust his opinion though, yeah. um, or hers, you yeah. know, wh whoever you're talking to. Um, if, if they say, Hey, you know, I don't think it's going to turn out the way you, they're probably right. Uh, okay. What else we got here? Uh, oh, can you make my V6 sound like a V8? No. No. <laughs> um, the reason is the firing order. Uh, nothing else sounds like a 90 degree American V8, um, not even a European V8. Uh, and your six cylinder definitely won't sound like it. Uh, a V10 is not going to sound like it. There, there is a distinct firing order that we have had with the American V8 for a you long know, time, a hundred years. It sounded exactly the same. Um, so it's it, it's not that the engine's too small or too big or revs too high. Um, you're physically missing the two cylinders we need to make it sound that way. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Um, we can make it sound better. Yeah, we can get good sounds out of it. We it's can, not going to sound like a V8. No. I like the uh, the V6 Charger guys that ask if we can make it sound like a Hellcat. No. I really love the enthusiasm. I happen. really love it. It's not going to happen. No. Um, right. You're just you're you're physically missing two cylinders and at that point quite a bit of displacement and horsepower too. Uh, same, same as you know. Can can you make? Um, uh, oh, I guess that's the next one on the list, actually. Can you make my car sound like, you know, some different car? Um, probably uh, not. Pro probably not. You know, uh, if, if you have a brand new stock, you know, 5 Mustang, and you send me a video of something that's shooting flames out of the back, no, I can't make your car sound like that. That's got a whole lot going on. It's probably making twice the horsepower it was intended to, and it's got headers and probably... And it's not just a catback exhaust. It's probably it's also tune, right? You know, yeah. Um now, if it's the exact same car, um, yeah, I could probably make it sound like that. Yeah. Um, again, you know, granted, we all understand how videos work now. Uh, if it's a different car with the exact same engine, I can make it sound like that. A fine example is, you know, they put the 5.7 the, the Hemi in, you know, the Durango, the Charger, the Challenger, the Ram. It's going to sound fairly similar. Those are, those are valid comparisons. Um, the same with any engine family, the VQ yeah. engine family, right? Uh, 350. Z and the G35, G37, yeah. 37, you know. Yeah, I, I can make all those sound, you know, the same. Um, but especially if it's a different make and model, guys, you no. know, hey, can you make my V8 Charger sound like that V8 Mustang? No. Um, They're never going to be identical. It's just not going to happen. No, just the engines itself is, is what's in control sometimes of, of how a car is going to sound. Yeah. You can engine swap it. Sure. And even then, it might not sound that way because yeah. engine swap headers may be a different sort of uh, monster. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know you know a lot of times um, there were uh, uh, 
header swap headers available for like LS swapping, you know, older trucks and stuff like that. And those headers are shaped to swap, not yeah. to sound. So, um, what else we got here? Number four. Will it void my warranty? No. Um, yes and no. Yes and no. <laughs> uh, if you cut your muffler off, it is going to void the warranty on your muffler. Um, on your exhaust system. <laughs> Maybe not even that. There's nothing you can actually do to a car that will legally void your entire warranty. Yeah. They'll they'll try and, you know, they'll they'll, they'll try and make it that way in a dealership, also, but the burden of proof is on them. Read your warranty. Uh, also read your warranty, but, you know, generally speaking, um, doing anything to your exhaust will void your exhaust warranty, which you don't care about because you don't have that exhaust system anymore and they're not going to fix your aftermarket system. So this is kind of one of those, like, net zero things, man. Is it, it doesn't really matter. Also, if you are leasing a car... Not your car. Don't take it. To yeah, the don't shop. don't do that. No, either. Bad idea. Just good good side note there. Um, yeah, definitely don't if you have a don't lease, no. ever modify the exhaust because they're gonna no. they're they're gonna charge you for an OEM exhaust. They're gonna charge you whatever the most expensive version of that is plus labor. So yeah, don't don't do that. Um, and last, um, why do four cylinders sound so bad? We often get the people that want exhaust modifications and they beg us, please. Don't make it sound like a Honda. Right. And, and you know, what they're talking about, you know, we're not dogging on Honda here. No. But what they're talking about is the 97 Civic hatchback at 9,000 RPM at 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're talking about that sound. Um, that's a thing. People are into it. Most people aren't. That's okay. Yeah. Um, long story short, four cylinders sound bad because they're a smaller displacement, which gives you a more raspier tone. Uh, and they also rev higher. Um, also, though, that's subjective. Not everybody thinks they sound bad. That's that's fair. And uh, people like it. Well, and that's that's the trade-off. The louder a four-cylinder is, the worse it's going to sound, period. Yeah. Um, so this, you know, loud and good are often not compatible with four-cylinders. And, and you can get fairly complicated. And there's, yeah, there's four-cylinders that sound better than others. Yeah. Uh, usually the ones with more displacement, a turbo attached to them, making fun noises. I was going to say, mean, the if, turbos. Yeah. yeah, if we're being honest. Um but generally speaking, the louder the louder you make them, the worse they're going to sound. And, and we've gotten really good tones out of four cylinders. I've had several that we were yeah. really impressed with. Yeah, definitely. Um, we've done fun, some of the four cylinder Mustangs. The Mustang, that's the first one I thought of. Yeah. Um, and man, you know, yeah, you can tell it's not a five liter, but uh, it had, you know, smooth tone. It's some nice kind of pops and crackles. It, it, tricks. it sounded more like a mature, like a Euro tuner car, right? And that's kind of the best sound I feel like you can get out of a four cylinder, in my opinion, yeah. is kind of that. Um, that kind of sporty European tone, you know. Yes, fancy. You know, the deeper, rich part yeah. of it. You yeah. know, the, again, you can't make them, you know, terribly loud because then you hear all the bad stuff. But, um, you yeah, that's that's more or less the deal with four cylinders. Yeah. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll try and do more top five videos for you. If you have any questions, be sure to send them our way and yeah. uh, maybe we'll do a video. See ya.